actually important how you pronounce Personally, I don't think there's a, a absolute correct pronunciation of any Woy. You know. Woid, W-O-R-D, Woid. You know. Orange to oranges. Potato, patata. Tomato, tomato. That's how the whole thing works. That's, that's actually a song. Sorry. I, I, I realize I have no talent. I wish I did. I wish I did. I love singing and even dancing. And, you know. It would be great, wouldn't it? Just, can you imagine you just have talent? You could start singing. Toriado en garde, Toriado, Toriado, etc. But no, I don't, so I won't. <laughs> that's, that's from Carmen, a Toriador song. Emilio. The oh, bullfighter. Oh, I know. Oh, I know the song. Good. Yeah. yeah. Why am I? Oh, I'm getting the place. I want to. How do you say St. Augustine the Saint? Shouldn't that actually be already included? <laughs> so, St. Augustine, um, and, and I really should go behave myself and go back to my uh, old notes because these are really uh, still uh, when we're talking about Plotinus as we were last class um, notice he's uh, in these bullet comments you know, his emphasis is on the emanation theory the idea that in some way we can be directly connected to the ideal world or what we might call heaven directly through math, through meditative practices, through the feeling of the moment. You know, if you think about what these uh, structures that the churches create, you know, I, I mean, uh, the, the newer, more evolved church, even if you go to the biggest church in Alaska, which is up in Eagle River, right across the street from me, uh, the, the, Glen High, the Glen Highway. Yeah, that's Glen, yeah, there's Glen Highway, which, by the way, I, I mentioned. Um, in my own, and I know this is not, and I don't know anyone else that thinks this, but in my opinion, the Roman Empire never, never fell. <laughs> it's still there, you know. You know the, the, the papal flag flies over, you know, the building in Eagle River, and, and that's a country. I mean, if you think about it, uh, the Vatican is, it's, you know, it's the smallest country in the world, I think, right? Because it's just big enough for tourists to visit. <laughs> You've ever been there? Some of, some of you have been there, uh, and, and it's just you know a, a small little country. But it is a, its own country. Ever since uh, uh, Mussolini uh, signed a, an agreement with the Pope in uh, uh, World War II. In any case, uh, uh, yeah, the flag still flies, and the, the Papa, the Pope, is is the Pontiff. The bridge between the divine and the human, uh, you know, uh, and, and you know, sure it's a rough story, you know, when you try to figure out, well, was he the actual emperor, or, or, you know, and, so, and sometimes it's pretty clear he was not only the religious leader, but he was also a political leader and had an army. I mean, you know, Julius, you know, riding into Rome. In his armor, after just slaying all these people, you know, and and then comes in, takes off his helmet, and then blesses the people, you know. <laughs> yeah. That was in a movie I saw. Uh, um, the agony and the ecstasy about uh, uh, Julius, Pope Julius, and Michelangelo, ceiling guy, right? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. So emanation theory, you know. You know, heaven and earth are actually physically connected, according to Neoplatonists. And the good is the one, so it's easy to just drop an O and you get God out of that, in English at least. Right? 
You'll remember, none of these folks. English hadn't been invented so far in history, and in any of our, you know, what we've been talking about so far. Um, but the beauty of the soul is a godlike disposition. What Cornell West was just talking about, right? You know, if you get into Cornell West, who's terrific. Um, the mystical experience is our opportunity to unite with the one, and I did talk about drugs as a potential use for that, because that's, that's actually something that the world uses in many different places. Every, every place has shamans, shamans, shamans. <laughs> There, there, there it is again. People think there's a real correct pronunciation. <laughs> that's funny how that works. Um, However, that's just a, a, a human foible on my part. But I think that's funny. Uh, funny. <laughs> funny. You know. Oh, I, I, that's a squirrel for me. I go off and I'll never get back. Um, uh, but Plotinus said to achieve this escape from trouble through union with the one. Um, stoic in this way, right? Notice this is also very stoic. Um, uh, so, so it all blends together, focuses on the soul, not the body. And there's, there's a link there that no longer works, uh, but that date line show is actually still there. It's called Jesus to Christ. And if you look it up uh, on the web, should be still pretty easy to find. Jesus to Christ. You might think, what the heck? What's that all about? In fact, notice it's uh, not only a, a website with lots of resources, it's also a, um, what was it, a frontline presentation that you can watch. I think four parts, part two, et cetera, et cetera. But you could also go to um, the website, and all of these resources are there. Uh, and and uh, it's quite rich, um, still. It's years old, but nonetheless, it's still quite rich uh, in resources. Um, and what resources do we have? So if we're, we're you know, going back and, and talking about Augustine, uh, we might, uh, and, and we're, we're talking about religion as well. And remember my question, uh, uh, what is religion? That's a, another version of the quiz question from last class. I asked, how did Christianity, in your view, become the dominant religion of the empire? And I got some really great explanations. Um, I, of course, the official orthodox one is because it's God. You know, this is... God's religion, you know, and so, boom, there it is. But, of course, as, as a contemporary, I mean, we look at sociological events, historical events, how, uh, you know, did it gradually become the religion of an empire that was full of different religions? So it was very disunited, and yet they spread, they all spread. So I know, for example, that archaeologists found artifacts in Spain related to the worship of Isis, who is an Egyptian goddess. The one that you know, leads over the earth and, and well, her bazoons or whatever you call them, <laughs> what are they, you know, they fertilize, you know, and, you know, so she's mother nature, basically. And, and uh, the, the Egyptians would pray to her for calm seas so that they wouldn't drown because you know, ships being what they were. Um, so you get the idea that you know all these different religions are all over the place. People like have special code words. I, I mentioned that the Nicene Creed kind of was like your password so that when you went from one village to another and you introduced yourself to the Christians that were there, you could prove to them that you were a Christian by saying, credo in unum deum, and in terra pax hominibus, you know, like, ah, oh, you're with us, you know, you know, that's kind of, you know, password 
That's where it is. If what you heard about the Egyptian, the Arab uh, from Saudi Arabia, the Indian, the Laotian, no, no I, do I want that? Yes, okay. Uh, the American, the British, the Frenchman, the German, the Swedish, the Norwegian, you know, all these people came to the bar, to the restaurant. And I looked them over and I said, I'm sorry, you can't come in here without a tie. Have someone from Thailand? Oh, you can't come in here without a tie. Yeah, I need someone with the you know, you know thing, uh, so that people know that was supposed to be a joke. <laughs> um, so, what is religion? And I asked, uh, and I, I think I showed you last class that I had my own definition that basically I interpret religion as belief in a meta narrative. A story that explains why I'm here, what my place is in the universe, and how I maintain that place. All the niche stories that fit into that. Um, so, and by the way, uh, how many of you are familiar with Joseph Campbell? Or Campbell? Yes? Okay. Well, I mean, one, two? Sorry. Russian pops into my head every once in a while. So yeah, Joseph Campbell, uh, I'll, I'll quick put this up, because we can, right? Uh, the myth is one way to talk about it, the hero's journey, and very, very, um, I, I mean, when you get right down to it, this, in his book, um, he analyzed something, he said a thousand different stories of you know, popular local you know, stories, and analyzed them and discovered that there are significant uh, aspects to any of these stories where the individual you know, goes through this, this cycle, right? Call to adventure, supernatural aid, threshold, guardian, da 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 And if you think about the movies that are most popular, like the Star Wars, yes, yeah, you know, Luke, use the Force, but he has some magic, right? But also, he loses his parents. Harry Potter, parents killed, but he's magical. You're a blizzard, Harry. Oh no, I'm sorry, you're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> The hobbits do have kind of a magic power. It's, it's something Gandalf recognizes. It's stay, stay with it in this. Wasn't that yeah. just the one re to be represented by that? The flight power, the one ring gives, you know, build on the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got one too. I have one, but I keep it at home in a box. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> And that's because I hate it, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, for lots of reasons. Yeah, they fall off. You can't move that because it's your proof that you're married. You know, because if you don't have it, your wife doesn't think you love her anymore. So I have it. It's in the box. You know, she knows that. And we're okay. You can always get on my little on black Santa, are you? Yeah. I like a tattoo. Would you ever get a tattoo? Nine. No. no. Yeah. <laughs> you have nine no. tattoos? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Stay on track. Okay, so the hero's journey. Um, and by the way, Jesus separated from his parents, at least on one trip to Jerusalem. And where do they find him? In the temple teaching the priesthood. And he's what, 12 years old? You know, so that's, you know, ooh, okay. Um, uh, and he meets evil pretty constantly, and it keeps getting worse. That's the, the conflict with evil keeps building as you go. Actually, the scariest movie in my mind is. I've <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Did I show you this already? No. No, no but something else. It's so good. This is not part of the movie. No, I love George Lucas. I remember being like 10 years old and watching George Lucas during the morning. Okay, so. <laughs> so this is, this is Beverly Hills Chihuahua the trailer. 